Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are going to this breakfast spot called Casa de Nati. I'm gonna show you how it looks a little bit outside. Oh, this is the spot we are going to. It's a little breakfast place. They also have lunch. I believe they're open till three, but let's go check it out. Okay, so this is what I ordered. These are the tacos dorados. I got three chicken ones, then my mom got chilaquiles. She got her eggs well done because she doesn't like them runny. And then my aunt got sopes. They're two chicken and one beef. And then also for drinks, we got orange juice, water, and coffee. The red one, no? No. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna try my mom's chilaquiles. It's actually good, but I prefer the egg runny. I feel like it makes it less dry. <laughs> okay, so we already left the breakfast place, came for coffee. We love this coffee, it's our favorite coffee. I'm gonna show you where we get it from. Okay, we usually go to this place called House Roots Coffee, it's in Granada Hills. We really love this place. It's so good and they have home, they have pastries that they make there which are really good as well. Another drink that we usually like getting is the regular latte as well and the matcha with almond milk. And then today we got to try the lavender matcha because my aunt did order and it was actually really good. Probably gonna get it next time I come here but I'm gonna show you where we usually get our coffee. Okay, so it is the next day. I completely forgot to end off the video and to be honest with you, we didn't do much. After that, we pretty much just went home. But I was doing an unboxing video on TikTok. I didn't get to finish it and I didn't post it yet. But I'm gonna show you why. Basically, I got the Sony CVE-10 this is my new camera. Currently, I'm recording on the Canon G7X2, which doesn't have a mic input as far as I know. Like, I tried to look for one, I researched if it does or doesn't have one. I just wanted to know if it had one that I didn't know it had, but it doesn't have one. So, this one has one, and the screen also flips over which I absolutely love because I like to know that I'm in the frame or what's showing in the frame to know that it's looking good. But the thing is I bought the lens separate. The camera was gifted to me by my boyfriend and the lens I bought it separate. I bought the wrong lens. I bought I think it was like a 35 millimeter lens. I don't know much about lens so now I got this 20 to sorry 10 to 20 lens this is the one if you could see it honestly I after I got the wrong one I did my research so luckily I know this one's gonna be better at least I hope so I'm gonna go ahead and just put it on right now to see if it works. Been a while since I've gotten a camera where I can interchange a lens. I used to have one. I think it was like Re Canon Rebel T5 or something like that. I used to have that. And when I bought it, I bought a whole bundle. I bought like the SD card. I bought two lenses. A whole like bag but I'm gonna see if I can put this on right I don't know if I'm supposed to press the button while putting it on and am I supposed to hear it click cuz oh there you go I remember the one I used to have the Canon where it could interchange the lens it would do a clicking sound when it was incorrectly now this one's a little different 
than the Canon. Instead of having like a button to turn it on, it has like a switch up here. I don't know if you can see that. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. I kind of try to play around with the settings. And it is very, very low battery. But I'm gonna see how this looks now. Hopefully. Oh my God, that's perfect. It's just a little too bright. <laughs> I wanna show you what I could see. So as you can see, it's actually pretty perfect. It shows wide variety, it's just way too bright. I need to go in again, change the settings, but I feel like this is perfect. And it shows an even like wider view. Let's see. I'm thinking it shows an even wider view, but let me compare. Oh yeah, it shows a way, way wider view than the Canon. I do love, love how the Canon takes my videos though. I was debating on whether to get the new Canon G7X3 or the Sony CV10, but my boyfriend has a G7X3 and it works pretty well, it's very easy to use. I'm very used to the Canon, so I do love it. But there's a little issue where sometimes it just gets blurry and it doesn't fix itself, not even when you click on it. But I think it might be something with the settings, I don't know. But I absolutely still am in love with my Canon and Hopefully, I can fall in love with this one too. So far, I love how it looks. I decided to get the white. I know it looks a little weird, maybe with the lens, but I just thought it would look so cute to get a different one. But I'm hoping that this one could be a really, really good one for when I film outside. The mic input is gonna make it so much better, so I'm really excited to use this. I want to say next week, yeah, next week video will most likely be filmed with this because I already have some videos lined up that I already shot on my Canon, but next week's videos will definitely be with this. And I'll give you my review on how I like it and if you want, I can give you the settings that I put because it was a little hard for me to figure out some of them I research and even though you research you figure out just what works for you the picture that you like better you like it brighter you like it a little darker you like it a little more sharp it's all up to you but yeah definitely like this camera so far the look is cute I just need to figure out how to use it and film with it and now I'm gonna go home, get some coffee because I have not had coffee. But that is gonna be it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. I know it was a little short. I wanted to show you the new camera, not to show off or whatever, but more to show you that I know the issues in my videos and I could see them and I am trying to make it better little by little couldn't right away just get a new camera plus like I said I love this camera fell in love with it this is definitely going to be a camera that's always going to stay in my collection and also a camera that's going to have a special place in my heart because it was my first vlogging camera and I absolutely love it I think it's very very beginner friendly if you want to get the three just to get that mic input and you don't have to struggle with that if you're shooting outside videos definitely get the mic input one which is the three but if you're not I would just recommend the two if all your videos are at home makeup videos um, outfit videos you'll be okay with the G7X too but yeah that is gonna be it for this video remember to like comment share and subscribe and if you haven't already Check out my description down below. I have my boyfriend channel link. I have the channel that I have with them linked down there as well. Go check those out. Go subscribe. And I will see all you beautiful people in the next one. Bye.